Wait a second. Are plorts basically slime poo? Is that what I'm picking up here? Do slimes poop diamonds? Because that's kind of weird and kind of hilarious. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Keen and welcome to a new game for the channel, but a game that you guys are probably already familiar with. This is Slime Rancher. Now, this is a game that I have not actually played. I know it's been around for some time, but it just entered full, complete access what what do you call that full release i don't know it, it it's out of early access essentially and this game is something that i've had my eye on and it just looks like a lot of fun i've really wanted to play it a lot of you guys have requested me to play it so we're going to be jumping in and i'm going to be playing this for the first time ever right now so you're going to watch me play this for the first time i have no idea what i'm doing let's go uh game name we'll just say Kind, uh, no, we'll do kindly Kian. Okay, and uh, choose a save icon. I'm I'm good with uh, well, you know what? Let's go with this weird looking cat ranch slime. I don't know why I said cat ranch. I guess ranch rancher, but it's a cat slime or it's a raccoon slime. I don't know adventure mode. That's what we're gonna do Hopefully it'll teach me how to play because I have no idea how to play the game And if these are things that you guys have already seen I apologize, but like I said, this is the first time for me checking out this game So I'm actually really really excited Let's see 1,000 light years away from earth on the planet known as the far far range Beatrix Labu begins her first day as a slime rancher. Okay. Yeah, it's given us some tips here So yeah, we know how to move around this is basic first person controls here okay space bar to jump shift to sprint got it got it down all right i'm already a professional slime rancher how to vac with okay yeah we we right click okay so we can suck up ranches i love it all right that's awesome okay so i got myself my first little slime here slimes are key to your success shoot slimes through a coral barrier onto the Oh, that's not coral, that's corral. Okay, hold left to shoot. There we go, I got him in a corral. Nice, uh, let's grab this other one over here. The, this little cute little guy. These guys are so cute, they're adorable. Oh, I love it. Okay, shoot him in there. There we go, nice, we've done it. Okay, so uh, we beat the game and uh, we're the greatest slime ranchers known to mankind and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm just kidding, obviously. There's a lot more to this game. Okay, uh, are you gonna give us any more tips or is that pretty much it? Now we just kinda have to go and collect slimes. Is, is <laughs> I, I don't actually know. I guess the, the premise of the game is pretty obvious. Um, you're supposed to collect slimes and capture them and breed them, I guess, uh, produce different kinds of slimes and eventually you have a big old ranch with all kinds of different super rare slimes and all kinds of cool stuff going on. It seems really, really cool. Um, just a good time, a good old time. So that's what we're gonna have ourselves here, is a good old time. Uh, what is this? E to activate. This is VAC pack upgrades. Okay, so uh, it looks like we got money down here. We got 250, uh, but we don't have enough to actually buy anything here. Okay, but we'll keep that in mind because that's probably very, very important. What is this thing over here? This looks like some kind of repository of some sort. Uh, if I press the button, this is the Slimepedia. This is gonna tell us all kinds of stuff. My goodness, there's a lot of information in here. I'm not gonna worry too much about this. Hopefully the game will kind of teach us as we move along. What is this? Range exchange. This is offline right now. Okay, that's not gonna do us any good. Okay, um, well, why don't we do some exploration? Okay, we've made it to the dry reef. We have a new Slimepedia entry, a new area. Look at all these pink slimes. Now, my basic understanding of this game is that you explore this world and you collect slimes and you get rarer and rarer slimes. Visit the ranch house to view. How do I get my mail? I wanna check my mail. Also, what is this? Hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson Twil Quil Twilgers, rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to ya, H. All right, thanks, Hobson. You sound like a lovely fella. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to our ranch and let's figure out how we can access our mail here. Maybe we go to our house? Maybe that's the secret. E to activate. 
Ah, uh, aha, star mail, there we go. Okay, let's go in there and rise and shine. This is from Casey, hi B. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine that what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time, wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air cl as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Okay, so we're kind of getting an idea of why we're here. We've basically been sent to this ranch, to this far off planet that took a year to get to. And now we are basically uh, the owners of this of this ranch, this slime ranch. I don't know why, but that's interesting. So 7Z, I guess, is the corporation that sent us here. The 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome and extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher support extended thanks guys you're you're too kind we would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range until you get more familiar with your surroundings traveling at night is not advisable lastly should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier the 7z corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house okay good information let's return to the ranch it looks like there is a day night cycle so that's good to keep in mind let's go ahead and head out to the area that we were going to head out to now that we have a better understanding of why we are on this distant planet with just a bunch of slimes it doesn't seem like there's many other people around here oh right i need to suck them up okay suck up the slimes here they're so happy they're so happy to join my farm come to me you little adorable pink slimes also picked up some pink plorts i'm not sure what plorts are for but i'm glad that we've got them they look like little pink diamonds of some sort i wonder if they are valuable oh my goodness they, these guys just keep popping up and they got all kinds of plorts for us oh man give me all your plorts wait a second are plorts basically slime poo is that what i'm picking up here do slimes poop diamonds? Because that's kind of weird and kind of hilarious. Tasty food acquired. Food like fruits, veggies, or chicken are used to feed slimes. Try shooting food at pink slime. They'll eat anything. Oh, that's that's kind of nice. They're they're not picky. All right, let's let's collect some carrots here. We get ourselves some carrots. This vac pack of ours can hold quite a bit of stuff. All right, well, let's take all these slimes that we collected and corral them up. All right, shoot them in there. Get them all up in there. I don't know what the capacity of this corral is. I'm a little bit nervous about how many slimes we can fit in this thing, and they might start getting a little upset. Let's shoot some carrots at them. Here you go, guys. Eat them. Eat them. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I actually, I genuinely feel bad about shooting that carrot right in your face. Why aren't they eating? They're, they're not eating. When slimes eat, they make plorts. Plorts, yeah. That is slime poo. Plorts is slime poo. Head on over to Plort Market to cash in your plort. Where's the, where's Plort Market? Here's your, here's your carrots. You guys can eat those later. Uh, is this the Plort Market? Let's go over to this big old star floating in the sky. Yes, this is the Plort Market. The Plort Market gives you new bucks for your hard-earned plorts. Shoot a plort into the Plort Market and earn cash. Okay, so we just, we just shoot this guy in here. Okay, nice. And where is our, oh, there's our money. So we're getting, uh, it looks like nine plorts per or nine bucks, space bucks, whatever it was, per pink plort. So it looks like the more rare the slime is, the more rare their slime poop is, and the more expensive and more valuable their plorts are, or slime poo. I love the idea of getting rarer slimes through the course of this game and collecting their super rare poo to sell it and make lots of money. That is a weird situation that we found ourselves in, but I love it. Okay, so now we have 350 of these these new bucks, I think is what they were called. Um, so we could actually buy one of these upgrades here. I'm not sure what we should do. Adds a specialized vac tank that allows you to store water. That seems kind of important. I don't know what water is used for, but I feel like water is an important necessity. So why don't we get that? 
A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. A watered garden's crops also grow faster. Okay, um, so we don't have any water around us, but I'm sure if we see some, we can suck it up and we can make use of that. Let's go ahead and give these guys some more carrots. Uh, here you go. Yep, here you go, guys. Take those carrots, and I'm gonna take all your plorts. Oh, no, I don't- I don't- Wait, wait a second. How do I- How do I selectively catch just the plorts? Because I feel like I'm catching slimes, too. I guess you kind of have to make do with it. Do your best to get around the slimes. Okay, that's fine. Let's get these guys back in there. The ones that we accidentally caught. Okay, you guys enjoy your lives in that very small cage. I do feel bad about how small that cage is. Let's go in this direction. Let's see what's over here. Oh, we can't. Uh, if we go over here. Oh, you have to actually buy access to this area. Holy moly. Okay, that's super expensive. That was like 1800 of those space bucks. We're not even close. Not even close. Okay, so we have a bunch of pink slimes over here. We know that they like to hang out over here. Oh my goodness, they're over here too. Goodness gracious, there's so many pink slimes. A pogo fruit, the most common fruit found on the range, and some say the most delicious. Hmm. Also, what is this? Is this a little chicken? I don't know what that was. I just picked up something and it didn't go into my inventory. Oh, is that because my inventory is full? Um, let's get rid of this guy. And is this a little chicken? A, a chickadoo. So little and soft, you think they're filled with marshmallow. <laughs> what? That is super weird. Let's get some more pink plorts. There we go. We got 17. So we can cash those in some, for some more bucks. Um, we got some more pink slimes over here. What is that a special plort over there? No, that wasn't it was just surrounded some by some kind of force field Okay, am I I'm all out of space, huh? I can't hold any more plorts. Yeah, I can't hold anything Okay, so do I need to head back to the ranch? That's probably in my best interest Also, it is becoming nighttime and the game said try not to hang out at nighttime. It's bad for your well-being Overall bad for your health. You might get killed. So let's go ahead and take these plorts cash these in over here. I wonder if you can do anything else with the plorts, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Shoot these guys in here, get nine bucks for every one, and that's pretty good. And then, um, let's, let's feed our, our little guys over here. Um, give them some, some carrots. There you guys go. Um, will you eat chickadoos? I feel bad doing this because the chickadoos are kind of cute, but, uh, go ahead and eat those up too. Can you eat this guy up? This is a hen hen. A hearty chicken bred to be twice as tasty as its cousin on earth. Hmm, I want to try a hen hen one of these days. Drop this hen hen in there. That hen hen is going, oh gosh, that hen hen just got eaten. They'll eat everything. Anything you put in front of them, they will devour it. Okay, let's go ahead and go into our house and let's sleep until morning. All right, a brand new day and the second official day of our life in Slime Rancher. Having a ton of fun so far, really enjoying the game. All right, let's head in this direction and see if there's anything interesting over here. Oh, is this another barrier? Yep, can't get past it. If we check this out, that's 10,000. Oh my gosh, we are not even close. Oh man, we've got a ways to go for that one. My goodness. Hey, wait a second. These guys are getting out. You guys are supposed to stay in your little... Wait, look at them. Look at them. They're stacking on top of each other to get out. They're so brilliant. Wait a second. Hey, they actually... Their faces don't look too happy. Are these guys hungry? I think I need to feed them. Oh no. They're getting upset. I'm not a very good caretaker for the slimes. Yeah, these guys don't look so good. I wonder if they're mad or, or if they're if they're like hungry. That's is that what's happening? Cause they look kind of upset. Yeah, that looks like a hungry face. Like feed me. Okay. Um. So we need like a sustainable way to to make food, and and I don't really know how to do that. So I guess we'll just kind of have to learn as we go. What can we do with these? Okay. So we can do. Oh, we can make a garden. Nothing beats the taste of food grown in your backyard. Okay, so we probably want to get to the point where we can start making our own food so that we can feed our slimes. Okay, silos are basically for storage and then ponds. That's water, so we can use that up. Okay, um, we probably want a garden, but we don't have enough money quite yet. I think that will give us 
This will give us 90, so actually that should get us to where we need to be. And now we can actually start up a garden. So I wonder if I want to use one of these plots. I, I imagine that there's kind of limited space here. So you know what? Actually, I'm going to use this plot right here. And let's go ahead and try out making a garden. Actually, I'm going to click on learn more. Uh, the garden used by ranchers use advanced technology to rapidly grow clones of fruit and veggies in a natural though greatly sped up way okay that seems pretty good um we need nutrient soil sprinkler scare slime is a stuffed tar model designed to keep wandering slimes away from your cops oh <laughs> that's kind of funny so slimes will actually get in to your your garden and they'll eat it up so you have to get scare slimes like scarecrows but slime versions let's go ahead and purchase it up and okay well there's not a lot that we can do with this because there's nothing here. I was expecting it to be a little bit more done, but I guess not. No hand holding here. Okay, let's head back out and let's just kind of go the direction that we've gone because that seems like the only way that we can go. And let's do a little bit more exploration this time. Uh, we haven't, we really haven't made it that far. Like we've, we've explored up to like here basically and we've only seen pink slime so there's a lot more to explore here i am very excited a whole new world here we go uh yeah oh wow those guys are big those are big big slimes with like rock hair they're pink rocco largo can i just can i suck you up largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a plort unlike its own vac to keep them on your nozzle or shoot to send them flying so if i suck them up can i carry them back to my ranch that's the question that guy kind of hurt me as i was sucking him up for for too long i guess i don't know what is this thing over here this looks interesting press e to activate oh it's a map hey i didn't even realize that we had a map wow the world is actually quite large here did not realize how big the world of slime rancher was man we have a lot to explore so where is our ranch uh our ranch it seems is is no that's not it i don't actually know where the ranch is is this our ranch maybe this is our ranch but regardless there is a ton to explore here my goodness and then what are these these are like some kind of collectibles that we can get within each area so this is just the dry reef uh, it looks like there's at least one two three four maybe maybe four different regions oh man five five different regions there's a whole nother map over here and wow wow okay this is gonna be awesome i'm really really looking forward to this i hope that you guys enjoy this even though you may have already seen it hopefully you're enjoying watching me experience it for the first time all right looks like we got we got these big old spiky haired gordo what what were they called pluto i don't i forget what they were called but they're big big slimes who ate i guess if they eat um a slime pl pluot i gotta get these these terms down if they eat a pluot that is not of their own they become some kind of freaky hybrid so that's kind of cool i just i don't quite understand it uh we got water here so yeah we can suck up the water over here and we can use this for something i'm not sure what yet but we can use it so that's good okay we got enough water and we also got a whole bunch of pogo fruit over here so why don't we collect all this good stuff up yeah grab that right there yeah that's pretty good uh and why don't we grab these pluots while we're over here what is this? this is like a chicken nest i guess so oh gosh oh my goodness that guy he's kind of attacking me isn't he wait what is this what is this oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa you're too big you're too big oh my gosh it's a giant pink cat slime i don't know how else to describe it Okay, this is this is scary. These guys are way way bigger than me and I can't really do anything to collect them Oh, hey, hey, you're a new slime. Come here, buddy. Come here. Why can't I? Yeah, there we go We got a tabby slime those stripes that tail that wiggle 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 nice All right, wait, where where did he come from though? I'd love to know where the rest of your family is. Are you up here? It seemed like he he fell from this cliffside So I don't know exactly where he came from but we're gonna have to find more of those adorable little kitty slimes I don't want to get too crazy because we don't have a ton of inventory space And if we run out of inventory space, there's really not much more we can do. Oh, here we go nice we got a whole bunch of new 
tabby slimes over here. We also got, wait, what is this? This is a blue slime. Oh, I just got another email. Let's grab up these guys. Oh, wait, no, I'm all out of inventory space. Okay, so I gotta get tabby slimes. Let's go ahead and collect up all the tabby slimes and we'll fill up our pink slime allotment. Come to my farm. It'll be great. You guys are gonna love it. It's basically a resort for slimes of all kind. Oh, we got another one of these mes messages from H. I had a great big tree like this here, one along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it, and then one day I began to notice it was dying. Wasn't anything unnatural, it was just its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen, so I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. What a guy. Wow, I really like this H guy. Okay, I want to learn more about you, H. You just seem like a nice fella. All right, grab up these guys. Grab up these guys. I don't see any more tabbies. Are there any more tabbies hanging out around here? Oh my goodness, it just keeps on going. But I'm I'm really, really nervous about going too far. I don't want to get too lost. Let's get these pluots going. It looks like another another weird hybrid was just formed. Now, I wonder if the hybrids uh, produce pluots that are worth more? I don't actually know. Get out of here. It's one of those things that we're gonna have to learn as we go. And you know, also, uh, it's safe to say that probably a lot of you are more familiar with this game than I am. And if you guys have tips for me, please leave them in the comment section. I'll definitely read those tips and I'll try to learn as much as I can. Try not to overload me too much because, you know, we gotta, we gotta learn as we go. I know that there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. Um, but if you guys have tips that can specifically help me kind of progress and, and find some cool slimes and stuff like that, let me know in the comment section. I love it. Oh, there's another message here from H. That hurt, by the way. That was extremely rude. I don't know why you did that. Okay, let's see. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. Okay, so it seems like if slimes get real hungry, they start to get real mean, and they start to try to eat you. Um, yeah, yeah, that's an angry slime right there. And look at them. Oh my gosh, they're coming after us. I, nope, I'm not interested in messing with them. Let's go back to the ranch. Let's cash in all the pluots that we got up to this point. No, they're not pluots. Why am I calling them pluots? They're plorts. Oh my goodness, man. I'm messing up all the vocabulary here. Where did I hear pluot? Pluot is like a plum and an apricot combined. It's like a real thing. Why was I calling it a pluot? Oh man, that's just embarrassing. All right, let's head back home. Let's feed these guys because they're probably starving. There you go. Yep, eat it up. Okay, let's cash in our plorts. Go ahead and get this all nice. Give me all that money. There we go. All right, 162. It's not a ton, but it's enough. And then uh, let's drop off all these guys in here. Go ahead and get these guys added to the corral. Now, I don't know what kind of capacity these corrals have and if it explains what the capacity is. In fact, if we click on this, uh, we can make the corral. We can make higher walls. We can also give them a music box. All of these things are way more expensive than I'd like to spend right now because I, well, honestly, I don't have enough anyways. Um, let's see if we can make another corral for our tabby cats here. Uh, a corral costs 250. Ah oh, man, we're a little short of it. Um, let's go ahead and grab up these plorts over here. See if this will give us enough. Now let's cash in these, and I think this should give us enough. Oh man, we're a little shy. Okay, let's go ahead and head back out into the wilderness and grab ourselves some more plorts. Luckily, there's a bunch of them just kind of hanging out around here. Um, I think I feel like. We've got enough pink slimes. We've got a lot in there, and we have to care for the needs of all of those pink slimes. We may have bit off a little bit more than we can chew with so many pink slimes. I'm not sure exactly what the best method is. If you guys have a recommendation on how many slimes we should fit into just one of those regular basic corrals, let me know, um, because it looks like it's pretty cramped in there, and I don't want them getting too grumpy. Not to mention they can start like stacking on top of each other and getting out and all that stuff. So it becomes quite a hassle. All right, get these guys back in here. Okay, there we go. Now let's head back over to our plort exchange. Go ahead and drop these guys off. And this will definitely give us enough money to buy ourselves another corral. And then we can get our tabby slimes going. So let's go ahead and put them right up 
next to our pink slimes. Let's get this guy activated. Corral, purchase. Let's go. And then let's go over to four and drop these tabbies off in here. Look at how cute they are. They're great. They're fantastic. Now, can you actually mix uh, slimes together? That's another question that I that I don't know the answer to. It didn't really explain it. Ooh, we have a message, I forgot. Uh, let me grab this guy, you need to stay in there. Stay, stay in there. And what do these guys like to eat? They like to eat meat. So we need to get them chickens, I guess. And what is this? What is this here? I don't understand. Oh, wait, can we shoot those types of slimes into this thing? Okay, wait, oh, this is Thora. Okay, she's probably gonna explain what this thing is in her letter. So let's check this out. Let's go over to our star mail and let's see what Thora has to say. Hi there, Beatrix, the name's Thora West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got to work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here on the far, far range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are are looking to trade what they got for what they need slimes plorts food whatever all you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed by noon as more ranchers get added to your network you should receive a healthy hello from them so check your inbox well enough john we've both got slimes to wrangle adios beatrix okay so we basically have like a trading system set up here and i don't know exactly the way it works but it looks like we've got these slimes um, that we can essentially purchase is that the way it works uh, we can trade her oh okay we need to give her these things and she will give us these things now I don't know if that's worth it but I don't have phosphor slime I know we saw rock slime earlier um, but I have not seen phosphor slime so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to trade with Thora today and it seems like what you get changes every single day we'll see um, in fact I think it's starting to get pretty late. So let's go ahead and head into our house and let's end our second night in Slime Rancher. Let's return to the ranch and let's go over, oh, dash boots. These highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. Visit the upgrade shop to purchase. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got a new upgrade and let's go in here and let's see Oh, no, it's the same. It's the same. Okay, well, maybe it changes after you actually trade with them or it changes after a couple of days. I don't actually know. Oh, no. Oh, no, my tabby slimes are so hungry. I need to get them something to eat before they get angry and start beating me up. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see any chickens, though. I need chickens. Where are the chickens at? Here, chicken. Chicken. Oh, no, I don't want to go. Oh, there's a chicken. Grab the chicken. There we go. Okay, we got ourselves a hen hen. I should get these plorts. I should definitely get these plorts. Come on, give me all the plorts. Oh my goodness, there's a ton over here. Wow, look at that. Now, I wonder if hen hens pop out from these little nests over here. Uh, we should keep an eye on those just to make sure that that is indeed the case or not the case. Oh man, we got more tabbies. I'm a little bit worried about adding too many tabbies because as we know, they want meat. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of sources of meat. I can find fruit, fruit and, and vegetables. They're pretty easy to find. Oh, we got uh, a tabby plort, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's not going to work right now. Okay, let's just keep looking for chickens before our tabbies back at home get mad at us. We also got rock slimes over here too, but we really don't have room for the rock slimes. Here we go. Here we go. We got a whole bunch of hen hens over here. Ah, what happened? One just got eaten. Okay, grab this one. Uh, we got three. Uh, no, no, you stupid, stupid pink slime ate that chicken right in front of me and pooped out a plort. That's just rude. We've also got these black hens. Can I? Okay, I can't get them. Um, I guess I got to stick to what I got here. Um, let's go ahead and grab up this hen hen and this one. Oh, wait, that one's different. That's a different type. Okay. Oh, my goodness. There's slimes all over the place. They're popping up out of the ground left and right. Okay. I think that we have a decent amount, at least to start with, but I hate the fact that I'm going to have to go back and forth. We need to figure out a way to produce meat on our farm. We also need to figure out a way to make, you know, trees grow, and I need to figure out how to do all that stuff. There's a lot of steps that need to be taken here that I have not looked into. Oh gosh, this is not the way I want to go. Let's get these chickadoos. Get some chickadoos on the way. There we go. All right, let's feed up our tabbies. I don't know if we have enough food here, but these poor guys look so hungry. Get these guys fed up. All right, um, and then let's get them some chickadoos. There we go. Eat those guys up. Enjoy that. 
Please be happy, guys. And, and here's some more. Add to your collection. Okay, there we go. How'd you get out? Get back in there. You hungry guys, eat up, all right? Be happy. Um, also, we should grab these, these, uh, tabby ports. See what these guys are worth. Pick that up there. Oh my goodness, we have pink slimes all over the place. What a mess! Oh my goodness, this ranch is becoming an absolute disaster. What have I done? My gosh. Uh, let's see, what are these worth? Is that 26? Yeah, that's pretty stinking good right there. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for our first episode of Slime Rancher. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more Slime Rancher. And again, leave me your tips so that we can make this ranch the greatest ranch that we've ever seen in Slime Rancher. I'm having a ton of fun. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that link with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos. Get out of here, you tabby. You're ruining my outro. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the size of the screen, but that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.